My name is Soime Alvarez Rubio. I'm the vice president of Puerto Rico Bankers Association. Okay, so we're here with her. We basically want to get a rundown of what's going on with the banking sector, um, how many branches are open, and generally what's going on after the storm. Yeah. Well, right now we are very happy, but you know we are still working a lot because right now we have 57% of our branches open. Um, we are not taking any rest until we have the 100% of it. Uh, we have major problems in the center of the island uh, due to the communications problems. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have a little bit of shortage about the diesel, mm -hmm. logistic diesel to get this far away from branches so we can you know, normalize our, our function um, for each bank. Um, right now, um, we have a lot of ATMs. Mm -hmm. We have more than 600 ATMs, and that can help the public to access cash money. Mm -hmm. That's very important because many of the business doesn't <laughs> accept any other kind of payment. For now. For now. Okay. Uh, we are particularly telling people and commerce that they can accept checks. and maybe it's a, a lot of help to the public so they can start you know taking another way of payments let me ask you something um is there enough money you're in contact with the fed on a daily basis it's never been a, since day one it's never been a problem of uh, not enough money of cash on puerto rico so we are very confident uh, the federal reserve bank of new york every day have a conference call with different uh, regulatory items. Um, there's FDIC. Uh, they have um, been FinCEN in the call. OSI for Puerto Rico is the regulatory from Puerto Rico, and they are always in that call with the president of each bank of Puerto Rico. Now, the, the banks have voluntarily established the moratorium programs for personal loans and for mortgage loans. Yes. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yes. Um, that um, change between one bank or another one, but in regular, in, like in generalized, every bank have the moratorium, the automatic rem, uh, moratorium, or the moratorium for the mortgage. The automatic moratorium is like. Um, um, for credit, loans. credit, uh, credit, like cards. credit cards, personal loans, or auto. Mm -hmm. um, the moratorium of the house, it depends who is the owner of, of that um, mortgage, if it's Tini May or Fannie Mae, or if the own is the own the, the, the banks. Uh -huh. So they have to go to the banks or call so to see what kind of help or flexibility this client could have um, in these 90 days or three months of payments and maybe can you know um, have different um, alternative one of them is pass these three payments to the end of the mortgage or That's one of them is maybe have like a payment um, according to the with the institution mm -hmm. or maybe he can pay it in January the three months because sometimes maybe the insurer he already received the payment or he start working again so it depends okay. what the people need and it's very important to tell um, our customer that the loss mitigations um, division it's it's normally in use so if you have any problem to put it um, um, on the on the regular basis, they have to go to the loss mitigation division. Now, one last thing, you mentioned that their 57% of the branches are open. Yes. When do you foresee 100% of them opening? It depends, it depends on the communication systems. Okay. You know, we hope that these people are, we know that these people are working, you know, every day, 24-7. And they say that they're going to bring some satellites and some balloons from Google mm -hmm. and everything they are telling us. So um, our hope it's in their hands. Okay, which areas have been the center? The center. The center. We are. We have branches in Culebra or Vieques, Aguadilla, Mayagüez, Fajardo, um, Luquillo, and in the south, Ponce, and in the north side. But you know, the center of the island, mm -hmm. it's still red. Do you think people need to send money to their relatives on the island? I mean, is that something that 
is a need right now? I think right now if they have a way to transport to a, like a town near them, mm -hmm. um, it's important that they um, call to the, their banks to see which one of the branches are open mm -hmm. near nearby them. So if if that works, I think it's more faster than mm -hmm. send them money because the U.S. Post Office is going to have this, the same problem okay. uh, because of the transportation and, and this time. But we think that every day we open more branches um, and we are concentrating what we see in the map of OSIF, mm -hmm. um, what um, part of the of Puerto Rico need financial services. So. We are, we are not in a rest mood until we stabilize, unless stabilize mm -hmm. for our clients. And one long line less, right? because we know that they, they are doing long lines and we are, you know, working. So okay. one last that. question, one last question. Do you know if the banks are still waiving the fee when you take up money at the ATM machine, if it's not your bank? Well, I know since the first day they are not um, any surcharge. Right. Um, right now, almost three weeks. Um, I don't know if some of them are, are charging. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you.